Are you tired of creating the same tasks and workflows over and over again? Imagine if you could just click a button and have all of your processes ready to go in seconds. Well, you're in luck because today I'm going through ClickUp Templates 101 and I'll walk you through how ClickUp Templates can save you so much time and when it does make sense to build them from scratch. Now here's the thing, we hear so often from our clients, well, every project's different. And although, yes, that is true, there are absolutely key pieces that can be repeated throughout any project. So we wanna make sure that you're not recreating the wheel every time when you can have a really solid guide to start with. So I'm gonna dive into when you should not only purchase or download a template that someone has created, but I'm also gonna go through creating your own templates for your processes and when they are perfectly plug and play and when you need to customize them for that specific project. If you're ready to take control of your time with ClickUp templates, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Click that bell icon too so you make sure you never miss out on any ClickUp tips and tricks. Let's dive in. Let's dive into one of my all-time favorite things to talk about, which is ClickUp templates. So first, let's talk about what ClickUp templates are and what you can even template in the first place. So when I think of a template, I'm thinking of usually something that I could purchase that someone has gone before me and done the thing, right? So here you can see, you know, in our template shop, we have over 50 templates. Here you can see this is our actual template library, um, our template workspace where we house all of these templates, but you can both have templates, whether free or paid, that people have mapped out a specific process or workflow, and you can then take that workflow, or you can have templates internally as well. So a process that you do on a regular basis, or even if it's not regular, maybe it's once or twice a year, if you have that process mapped out, it is not only going to save you so much time, because you don't have to manually write out what you have to do, but it's also going to reduce so many errors because you're not going to miss any elements. You're going to have exactly what you need to do to fulfill that project, produce that deliverable, etc. So let me give you some concrete examples. When it comes to client management, if you have a specific client process, you can create a template or a base, right? Some people will say, you know, I do projects for our clients. They have a start and end time, but the deliverables in between vary greatly. You can 100% still have a template and work off of that. Maybe you have retainer clients where the things that you do for them are very unique. Well, you can still have a template that has the base structure that every single client follows. For example, in this client management template, this is a structured list, right? It's not meant for you to pull up and you know, you're doing these exact things. It's more so the structure. Same thing if we go into the project management template, which is a free template we give away, by the way. And here you can see this is a project from start to end with different phases. So even with projects that have certain end dates and deliverables in between, I'm sure you're still going to have to plan out that project, create the milestones, break down all the tasks into actionable steps, etc. So what are those key things that you can map out to make sure you and or your team are set up for success when it comes to fulfilling that project? Now let's talk about task templates as an example. So if we go into our YouTube template, YouTube is such a robust process. If you didn't know, putting these videos together, there are so many people involved. They take hours upon hours, but we love being able to provide this content for you so you can learn and also our business can continue to grow. So in the process, right, we have a list that every single or like statuses that every single video goes through, right? They go from the queue to scripting, ready to film, filmed, editing, 
scheduled, and published. Then there are 13 plus things that have to happen in order for that YouTube video to come to life. We have to solidify the topic and script. I have to film the video, then upload the assets for the team. Our editor is then going to edit it. Our designer is going to create the thumbnail. Our team is going to create the SEO. Then another person is going to go in and actually schedule the video. So we have laid out this process to a science that every single time we have to do this, all we have to do is upload this template and remap the due dates, and then everything is on our schedules. So not only are ClickUp templates amazing because boom, you have the process right there, but also if you have due dates and assignees, then your workload is immediately set in the click of a button. And I'm going to show you how to apply that as well. You can even have things like, you know, description templates. So every time you create a task, then all of the description is put there. So then you can just fill out the pertinent details. Maybe it's in team meetings. And every time you create a task, it uploads the agenda. The list goes on. I hope those few tangible examples allow you to see so clearly immediately what the power of templates are. Okay, so now let's talk about the process of actually saving templates and then applying them. So as you are creating a new template for your business, whether you are starting from scratch or you are utilizing a free or paid template, you're going to want to adjust that for your business, right? So say you downloaded this YouTube template as an example. You're then going to see the subtasks in this task template and be like, okay, who on my team is doing what? What is the cadence and timeline of these things? Are there specific things I have to add or delete? Do I need to change the dependencies around, et cetera? And then after you do that, then what you're going to want to do is save this to the template center. So saving templates is super easy. All you're going to do is right click on that task or go to your list settings And then you're going to click on templates, save as template. From here, you're then going to put the name. I'm going to put YouTube task test and then save template. So now when I want to apply this template, all I have to do is put the video name. Now I'm going to right click on this task. I'm then going to click on templates, browse. I'm going to find the template that I just saved, click on use, and now I'm going to remap the dates. So this applies not only for task templates, but list templates as well, where I can now pick a due date of when I want this video fulfilled and completed and scheduled out. I'm going to click on use template, and now you're going to see the magic happen. Now you'll see that all of the assignees and due dates are set. Boom, click of a button we're good to go. Now you'll also notice that in the description, I actually created an automation that when a task is created, it's going to auto apply the YouTube task description template. So how I did that was in the automations, you'll see here when a task is created. Now I only want this to happen on the parent task, not the subtask, that it's then going to apply the YouTube task description template. So this is also a hack to make your life easier. So you don't even have to manually apply the templates. You can have automations do it for you. Now, a note about this currently is if you do have tasks with due dates, you will have to apply those tasks manually in order to remap the due dates. Fingers crossed that this is not an issue in the future, but that is currently how this flows. You can also apply templates to docs, whiteboards, and more, but I don't want to bog down this video with too many things. It's really simple. All you have to do is click on the three dots, find the settings, and then you're going to click on browse templates and be able to find the template that you're looking for. Now, while I'm here in the template center, you're going to see not only your workspace templates, so the templates that you have saved, but you'll also see ClickUp templates from ClickUp team and the community as well. So in here, you can both search if you're looking for something specific, or you can go ahead and check out all the amazing examples that people have 
in here. So in here, you'll be able to say, okay, I want to check out all the task templates, the list templates, etc., and be able to see what people have put in there and try out those templates as well. Now, what does set free templates apart from paid templates is the fact that a lot of the free templates are just going to be a link that you click and upload and you have to figure out the rest. Whereas if you do decide to download one of our templates as an example, not only do you have the link to click and upload right into your account, just like that, but you also will have instructional videos that go through that template as well as any additional resources as well. So we provide all of the training materials to make sure that you are set up for success when it comes to actually customizing and using this template for your business. Next, let's talk about storing and updating your templates. So I highly recommend that if you are utilizing templates within ClickUp, that you have a space called resources and trainings or something along those lines. In here is where we store our active templates. So you'll see we have a folder called templates and then in there we'll have specific list templates that we use. That way we can go in, we can iterate on these specific lists. This one is just a sample. And then once we make those changes to the template, so let's actually use like say this project management one as an example. If I were to change anything in here, say, you know, the kickoff call we wanted to add Andrea, and maybe we wanted to add a couple more standard tasks that happen. Well, we can just make that directly to the template itself. Then we can click on the three dots, templates, and update existing template. And then we can find that template next and then save. So you want to make sure that any changes that you are making to the process, that you are actively updating the templates where that process happens and having those easily accessible in a place like a resources and training space is going to make your life so much easier. Now, say you don't want to have a template like this in your resources and training space because you don't want tasks showing over doing your workspace. Totally get it couple different options you could do here is you can either archive the entire list. So say I archive this. Now it's not going to show in here or in my overdue tasks, but I can always quickly get it back by showing archived. And then I could click on restore and then I'll go ahead and hide the archived. Or what you could do is you can keep it stored in your template center. And when you want to work on that template, then you just go ahead and manually add it from the template and then work on it, save it, and then delete it again. So a couple different options that you could do based on your preference. But I think the most seamless and easy way is to either just keep the template in a resources and training space or keep it archived so it's not cluttering any overdue tasks and things like that. I also highly recommend that inside your templates, you store the SOPs and materials for those specific tasks. So say we're looking at this project and there are different things that have to happen for this project from the beginning to the end of the process. Having the actual materials and SOPs in the task itself is going to be so helpful helpful for your team, no matter if they are brand new or a seasoned team member, it's just helpful to have those assets in one place. Now, I highly recommend that you don't just go ahead and actually drop the information in the task itself, but that you have something like an SOP library, again, free template here, and you store all the assets and trainings in the actual SOP. And then you go ahead and copy the link to the SOP. And then you put that SOP link in the description. Why do I recommend doing this? This is because then you only ever have to update your SOP materials in one place in this specific task. Now this is dynamic. And any time that you update the description in the task itself, it's going to retroactively update in all of the places this is living within your ClickUp. You don't have to manually think, oh my gosh, where did I put this information? I now have to re-download the project management template or the client management template. This is going to save you so much time and energy down the line. And the last thing I want to touch on in this video is when it's the right time to invest in custom support. So I am a huge fan of templates. 
I don't know about you, but staring at a blank list, a blank document stresses me out a little bit. It's so much easier for me to be creative when I can first see what someone has gone before me and done and then just iterate for my own process. Now, every single person is different, but if you are the same way, there may be templates in our shop that are exactly what you're looking for. Maybe you're looking to implement a new marketing process within your company. Maybe you're looking for materials to be able to onboard and train your team or hire new employees. Well, I would highly recommend checking out our template shop and seeing if there's something in there for you that could be helpful for the exact process you're looking for. But when it comes to more robust and in-depth processes, specifically, this is usually when it comes to fulfillment, whether it's new product development or client processes, this is when having a ClickUp expert on your side is super, super helpful. So we work with high growth companies who are looking to implement really robust systems, not only in ClickUp, but also through outside integrations like Zapier and Make.com to build a very custom solution. So if you find that templates and tutorials are just not cutting it and you need some extra support, investing in a custom build could be a really great move for your company. And that is all I have for you today. I hope this is helpful and open your eyes to the power of ClickUp templates. We also have various free templates in our shop as well, so you can feel free to download them, check it out, see how our templates are created, tutorials, and things like that. And I hope these templates are a helpful resource as you take your ClickUp to the next level. And there you have it. You now have the ultimate guide to using ClickUp templates to save time and you know when it's best to start from scratch for ultimate customization. Templates are all about making your life easier, but flexibility is the key to a successful agency. Great news is whether you need a plug and play pre-built solution or you need something super custom for your process, we have solutions for both. I'll make sure to link our template shop in the description below. And if you're looking for one-on-one support and customization from my team, feel free to go to desilvalife.com slash contact to book a call with us today. With that, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.